turned out that there was something that could deliver housing in Los Angeles for less, much less than $300,000, and that's, that's ADUs. People often ask me, what, what is the most innovative thing we can do to increase ADU supply? Is it modular construction? What is it? And I said, the biggest innovation is allowing it. Almost every time you start designing the building, you realize my return on cost doesn't work. It's a five or five and a half. And if I'm building to that low return on cost, I'm not gonna get the deal financed or built. And so we have to go back to the drawing board and try to find out how do we you know, manage these costs to get the cost of the building down to a certain level so we can get those return on cost. A lot of our projects today, they're, they're averaging 650 to 750 square feet per unit. So the units are getting smaller and more compact and we're getting rid of things like kitchen islands, hallways, um, and then going with you know, a nine foot or 10 foot ceiling. So they've got the volume, but the floor area is shrunk, uh, shrunk down as well. Common is the nation's leading residential brand and operator that first started out with co-living units and we actually have expanded to micro units and traditional units as well, where we can bring uh, affordability, convenience and community to the tenants while also increasing the value of our uh, real estate partners property. In Los Angeles alone, 75% uh, of people make less than $75,000 a year. If you look at what is being constructed in the market, 87% of new construction is affordable to those making greater than $75,000 a year. So co-living is purpose-built roommate housing, where a lot of people are already living with roommates in two to three bedroom units, but we're saying we can make it even more affordable for people, and you can create three, four, five, six bedroom units and uh, really provide a discount to the renter, but more importantly, it is a 20 to 40% increase in NOI for the developer, which makes it feasible for them to build in this high construction cost environment. We're at this difficult kind of junction right now where you can't really build a building with no parking because it won't lease up uh, at those rent levels. The state passed a new ADU law um, in the recent legislation session, and I'll just tick off what um, it does. Bans owner occupancy requirements. Second, it sets a standard setback distance of four feet. It eliminates impact fees to our conversation for units less than 750 square feet. And perhaps most importantly, you can add a second ADU for a total of three units on any single family zoned property in the state of California. People are focusing on these giant towers or large buildings, but you know, this development boom, you've seen very little eight to 10 unit or 12 unit development because it's too infeasible to take a, you know, triplex on a big lot, tear it down, build a 10 unit because when you layer on all these fees and regulations, the math never works.